Hey Jesse, well, as we discussed, we're gonna now show you some awesome little mobility exercises, which I think is very important for you to be implementing in your week, probably every other day, uh, especially with the amount of riding that you're doing now, that you crazy, crazy man signed up for this ride to conquer cancer. So hats off to you. And I wanna try and help preserve your body in preparation for this so that you feel nice and mobile and this could be used for anyone going through lots of cycling or just lots of conditioning work so so as you know with cycling you can't just cycle when you're training for a long race so today is all about some online training for my buddy tom now if you're at home and you just can't get your life together well guess what Myself and Tom have created a program that's super easy to follow that you can buy online and you don't even need to leave the comfort of your own home. Tom is a registered massage therapist and a certified personal trainer. He's here to help you. So let's just get right into it. Oh yeah, don't forget, you gotta subscribe, like, and comment. Little red box, hit it, hit the little bell, ding. Give it a big thumbs up and comment below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you say? What's your biggest takeaway from this video? Let's get into a few different movements. Starting down on the deck, nice and simple. I'm going to open up my hip flexors. So targeting that left hip flexor, and driving that hip forward, squeezing on the left glute a little bit. and then sinking in. Add some rotation. Good. Now I want you to really hold these stretches. I'm gonna kind of speed through them a little bit, but if you've got the time, you should be doing at least kind of 30, 30 to 45 seconds uh, each of these stretches. Exhale, I kind of relax that hip up and just sunk into it a little further. And I'll add that rotation. Shouldn't be ever super painful. Just want to make sure you're feeling a good stretch, a good pull through this hip. Sweet. Next one, I want you to go through will be your adductor stretch. Super important to keep these nice and mobile. You can want, want to keep it dynamic, so flowing forward and backwards with it just till you feel that little stretch. Okay, if you don't feel it enough, Jesse, taking that foot further out, and you can even start walking towards that as you get more and more mobile with it. So there's another nice stretch for you. So we're gonna work some hip cars. Okay, so from this kneeling position, we're gonna bring the, I'll turn side up for you. We're gonna bring the knee up as far and out as possible. Drive that heel nice and high and come back through. And then I want you to reverse that movement. So going as far as possible, making sure that you're not dropping off on that left hip. You're staying nice and stable. I'll show you one more each side. Nice and controlled, just going to your full hip range of motion. Okay, so I want you to go through about six of those, forward and back, five or six, and then hit the other side. You want to see it? Sure. You'll find the more you do, the more comfortable and freer this hip gets, and the better your movement will be. Excellent. Now, getting up, working a bit of lower back and hamstring stretch. So we're just gonna, first of all, keep the feet about hip width. 
Just stretching down with a light bounce. Trying to keep the legs fairly straight. Okay, you can add a bit more rotation into that lower back. Stretching off one side and the other. Hamstrings are a huge one. They're gonna get really tight with you cycling all the time in a shortened position. So if you wanna work on some other variations, obviously you can do all sorts, getting a good kind of 30 seconds per side, if not more, stretching into this. Pulling that toe towards you, squeezing the quad a bit to really feel the hamstrings, okay? Same on the other side. So again, about 35, 40, 45 seconds each side there. You've seen a bunch of foam rolling. If these are getting really tight, we've worked on foam rolling before, you can obviously grab that out, loosen those up, and then going into some stretching. Quadriceps, I'm gonna show you more of a dynamic stretch again. So we're gonna pull that foot under, tucking in as tight as you can comfortably. If you need to take it out to the side further, you can. The more it's close to the bum, the more you're gonna feel the stretch. Then we're dropping down the opposite elbow for you. This one's gonna be a really, really good stretch for your quads, even into that hip flexor a bit and that lower back. So I'm gonna reach and rotate round as far as I'm comfortable. I like to sink the breath with this. So inhale, exhale. Okay, so. All right, so there's three. I'll show you three on the other side. I'd again work a good kind of six to eight breaths, six to eight rotations. All right. Shoulders a little bit. Okay. So we'll, get, we'll chuck this guy in and then I can round it up, shall I? Okay. Okay, from here, we're gonna work on just a couple more things. Um, obviously a big thing with the cycling is you are in this internal rotated position. So something that'll be really good for you, Jesse, is just to work on opening up, really driving the hands uh, and wrists back into the ground. And you can even combine this with a glute bridge to help get the, the glutes active. So you're coming up, squeeze the hips high, both together, pushing the heels into the ground, open up the arms okay you can drop it down keeping that head relaxed chin tucked in throughout the movement maybe do three or four seconds squeeze and hold take those arms all the way through that external and internal rotation maybe go through eight to ten if you ever want to increase that you stick a band on on the uh, legs and you can increase that by even wrapping a band over the legs and standing on the band to make it a bit more work for the glutes. Um, so just for any of you watching, if this has been fun or some cool interactive mobility movements and you'd like to learn more, uh, have access to more videos, Jesse and I have done tens of videos together and we have a full uh, you know, online program where we've got um, more, not just the mobility and stretching, foam rolling, but a full program uh, where you work on strength, conditioning from, from head to toe. So please check that out. Check it in the, in the comment, in the, in the link below and love to hear your comments. Cheers.